Keto Brick has a brand new flavor, Macadamia Madness. And we didn't plan to match the packaging, but apparently we do. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're gonna find all of the different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time Keto Brick comes out with a new flavor, you'll be alerted to it. So we love Keto Brick. They have a lot of different flavors and we have several videos on Keto Brick, including one on how to melt them down into small pucks, and I will leave a link for that recipe video right over Rachel's we head. We even have a video where we ate nothing but keto brick for an entire week. Yeah, and you can have it not just as a meal replacement bar, which is how it's intended, but there's also several recipes on the Keto Brick website, as well as we have one on our website where we use Keto Brick as the fat source to make a delicious mug cake. So I will leave a link for that down below. Now this is not a keto candy bar. No, this is not like your normal chocolate candy bar. This is a meal replacement bar. If you don't know what Keto Brick is, this is a 1000 calorie meal replacement bar developed by Robert Sykes, also known as Keto Savage and his wife, Crystal. And he actually made it for himself. The original version was a mocha. And then a lot of people really wanted them, so he started selling them, and, and we've been getting them since the very beginning when he was only able to make like 30 a month. Right. And so it is a 1,000 calories, but it has perfect keto macros, and they are delicious. Well, because he made them for himself. Yes. You know it's the difference between a company trying to make a keto product and the person who needs something to work making the product for themselves. Yeah, I think the best products in the keto market are products where somebody made it for themselves, like Keto Brick or you know Keto Chow, and then they decided, you know what, a lot of people may like this and they started selling it out there as opposed to just major corporate companies going, let's jump on the keto train. Yeah. So I do want to say, um, we've tried this already. It showed up at our door and we were in the middle of filming a vlog and we could not help ourselves. So we opened up the package right away. That vlog is coming soon. Uh, but it was really, really good, but we are going to try this. I was gonna say, we get to try it again, right? Now I do wanna say, so this is a thousand calorie brick and we're gonna go ahead and open this up just to show you what it looks like. It looks like an actual brick. And this is what it looks like and it's delicious. But what we like to do is melt them down into more manageable portions. And we do that for two reasons, number one, because this is a giant thing to put in your mouth. Yeah. But number two, it's a thousand calories. And unless I'm maybe like going to a game or we're going on a camping trip or something like that, I don't necessarily want to eat a thousand calories in one sitting. And it's almost impossible. And well, yeah, it's really hard to eat it because so it's so filling. filling. But I can find myself not stopping. So I want to know exactly how much I ate. So we will generally break them down in, into either eight 100 calorie or 125 calories or we started breaking them down into these like mini bricks how cute are they and each one of these is 250 calories so i get four of these out of one brick i will leave a link for the mold that we use down below and we're going to sample right out of this so these have been in the refrigerator that's where we store them they are shelf stable unless you're in a really really warm climate and don't have air conditioning but uh, I like to store them in the refrigerator because it takes me a little bit longer to eat them when they're cold. Right. You ready? Dink. Mm. It's macadamia madness. Mm. Macadamia nuts have a very tropical flavor. These scream Hawaii. Mm -hmm. That's what they scream. Yeah. So, so good. Very rich and very smooth. Like the original flavor actually had like cacao nibs in it. Cacao. And these don't, these are very, very smooth. 
and I can easily see myself eating an entire brick in a sitting if I weren't to break it down into little portions so like this. So stinking good. Okay, you wanna do five things? Five things. Five things. If you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients, does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Number one. Number one is the ingredients. And this is one of the things that I really love about Keto Brick. Now, each flavor has different ingredients slightly. Okay, but the ingredients in this one are raw organic cacao butter, grass-fed whey protein, which is grass-fed whey protein, natural caramel nut fudge flavoring, stevia and xanthan gum, and then we have pure macadamia nut butter, which is dry roasted macadamia nuts. Then we have MCT uh, powder, which is MCT oil and acacia fiber. And then we have ancient sea salt, which they're using Redmond. Redmond. That is all the ingredients. No wonky fibers, no like wonky, you know, hey, is this really a sugar alcohol? Very few ingredients, very, very clean. It is so rich. Like it's still like making my mouth super happy. Now I do want to say these are salty for someone who may just be coming over to keto. For me, they're not salty they're enough. They're so good. They're like salty sweet. But for sweet. some people, they may feel they're a little salty if you're still new to keto. And again, this is not a keto candy bar. No. This is a keto, a keto meal replacement bar. It just happens to be delicious. Okay, number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label and wait till you hear these macros. 1,000 calories per brick, 90 grams of fat, 32 grams of protein, total carbohydrates is under the little sticker here, eight. Eight. Eight total carbohydrates for a thousand calories. And then you have dietary fiber, which is five. So you're looking at three net carbs, actually three net carbs. Actually three net carbs. And again, they're using acacia fiber in the MCT, but even at eight total, total. carbs for a thousand calories, that is amazing. And again, if you break it down the way we are into these four mini bricks, yeah, you're getting 250 calories at two total carbohydrates. And when I think about the fact that sometimes I'll be heading out to a game, hey, I need something to tide me over. Maybe I haven't eaten. A lot of times I go to games and I don't want to eat a big giant meal because I got to run up and down the field, but I want a little something until I get home late for my dinner. And I'll look at like, what kind of meal replacement bars do I have? Like, you know, in that 200 calorie range with some fat to give me energy. With only two total cards? Well, pretty much everything I have is like 10 to 12 total cards. Well, yeah. now I can take one of these little bricks, get 250 calories, get a bunch of fat that's going to help give me energy on the field, the MCT oil, which is going to help my cognitive function because that's going to convert right to ketones, and I'm only at two total carbs. That's amazing. That's amazing. Number three, how do they taste? I have to say this may be my new favorite flavor. I mean... My absolute favorite flavor is the buttered maple pecan. That but is, that is a seasonal flavor. It is. And it only comes around in the fall. And then I have nothing to tide me over to the rest of the year. After that, it was always like chocolate peanut butter or peanut butter. This is dethroned both of those. This, this is amazing. This is so nice and refreshing. I love macadamia nuts. I was always like, you know, white chocolate macadamia nut cookies was always my favorite cookie. There is a very tropical taste to it. Almost tastes like there's coconut in it. Which there isn't. It's probably coming from the MCT. Right. But that paired with the nut, those flavors, it's just so stinking delicious. I love it. Yeah. Now, if you've had some of the other flavors, like they had the coconut flavor that has the shaves of coconut, it's kind of like a slight hint of that, but a lot nuttier. I like this way better. This is much better. Plus, it's much smoother. Mm -hmm. Number four, how much do they cost? And this is where someone's going to go, whoa, Nelly, those are expensive. But you have to really look at what are you getting for the price? Right. So there's three different prices you're going to pay for these. The first way is buying a single brick, which I am never going to advise because it's $12 a brick because they're the including the shipping in there. Yeah. And so I would never advise that unless you absolutely just want to taste one. And even there, I would tell you, go buy the sample pack where you can get a bunch of different flavors and pay the seven day price. So the seven day price where you get seven bricks, 
that comes in at $59. They did recently have a price increase, but everything let's face did. It, yeah, everything is going up. We were figuring out the other day, we're actually paying more money for a gallon of gas than we are for a pound of ground beef at this point. What What is happening right now? I don't know, but at least here I'm looking at, I get to fuel myself yeah. with some really good fuel. So the third way you can buy this is in a two week supply. And that's how we always recommend it. That's how we usually buy ours. We buy either the two week or the month supply. And that comes in at $105, which breaks down to $7.50 a brick which seems like a lot of money. Well, until you see that we break it down further. Right. Right now, if it was $7.50 and that was your thousand calories for the day, honestly, talk about nutrient density. Yes. That would not be a problem, but we break it down even further. So I think it's under $2 a serving once we get done with it. So if you look at the cost of like a lot of the keto bars on the market, most of them come in between $2 to $3 per bar for right around 200 calories. And most of them are gonna be between 10 and 20 total carbs. So if you look at this, is it smaller? Yes. But if you look at nutrient density, what are you getting in here as far as the amount of fat and the amount of protein? This is coming down to be like $1.80 a bar for 250 calories, perfect keto macros, and only two total cars. It's small, but it's mighty. So I personally don't think that they are expensive at all. When you look at, like you said, nutrient density, what are you getting at $7.50 per bar? Because that is again for a thousand calories. So number five, would we recommend it? We have been recommending Keto Brick since the beginning of mm -hmm. our channel. We've loved it from the get-go, we've used it, we've seen good results using it, and it's something that we feel good about. We would not share it if we did not feel good about it. I think it's time to do another week of Keto Brick only, I, especially I'm, with this new flavor. I was flavor. gonna say, with the new flavor, I don't mind that at all. Okay, so these are launching on Sunday, February 20th at 12 p.m. Central Time. There's gonna be a link down below. Now we do not have a discount code because Keto Break generally does not do discounts except for maybe one time a year. But if you use that link, you will help benefit the channel. And again, this is a small business. They do everything in house. And that's something yes. else that we always have to pay attention to. We love supporting small business. And when you look at the fact that Robert and Crystal keep everything in-house, they make the bricks themselves. The shirts themselves. They do their shirts themselves. They do the shipping themselves. They're not hiring outside co-packers. And he talked about that when he had to have a small price increase and said, I had three choices. I could close the business. I could make the quality less or I can slightly increase the price. And I am happy to pay a little bit more money to continue to get the quality that we get from Keto Brand. Yeah, they supervise every single stage of their business, which I love. So let us know down in the comment section, have you tried Keto Brick before? And if you have, what is your favorite flavor? I have a feeling once you taste this flavor, Made this is wrong. gonna be your favorite flavor. It's really good. I don't know how many they have. I don't know how long they're gonna have. So I highly advise you that at that 12 p.m. Central Time or it's 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Be on the computer. Be on the computer and get your order in. I know I plan on getting at least a 30 day supply of them. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way, every single time there's a new keto brick, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.